Hello everyone. <laughs> we finally made it. Not even been here a few hours and she's already napping. <laughs> <laughs> so we're at uh, our little humble abode, the trading post here at Camp of the Tall Pines. I'm just saving my energy. We're, we're kind of dead right now. <laughs> <laughs> and we haven't even done anything. Yeah, so uh, a friend of ours is going to come down here and hopefully point us in the right direction on where to get us a, a mule deer. So Adriana drew a mule deer tag for Unit 34 uh, non-resident, which is pretty difficult to do. So we want to try to make the, the most of it. we got five days to get it done, uh, Saturday through Wednesday. We're here now, Friday. Uh, we got here midday. Uh, as we were coming in, how many deer do you think we've seen already just around camp? Maybe like 10 or 15. Yeah. So, and that was between 10 o'clock and, uh, and noon. So that's good. They're, they're moving uh, midday. Uh, hopefully we can get on something tomorrow or Sunday or Monday. Or Tuesday, or Wednesday. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow. tomorrow. Please. Yeah. Please. Let's just hope we see a monster tomorrow. A monster? He's got to be a monster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we move on to killing a bear. A bear. <laughs> So we're heading out. We got a good buck spotted. He's bedded down with three or four does. The closest thing we could range was 1,300 yards. And that was about three quarters of the way. So here we go on our first stalk. In case you can't hear us, stock number one didn't go as planned. Public land hunting. Ran into uh, some more hunters and we got a better eyeball on that buck and we'll let them have him. So, moving on. We killed them. <laughs> <laughs> the hunters? Get out of our way. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, JK, we'll, JK. We'll find another buck. We'll get back with y'all. So, Adriana says uh, Armando was going to take us to the flatland. There's no flatland around <laughs> us, obviously. But this is pretty flat. Once you get to the top, <laughs> for like, what, just 100 yards, and that's it? Yeah, and then it turns into 
not so flat. There's a refrigerator there. Do you think there's food? <laughs> Are you hungry? You just said it. No, I'm just wondering if there's, there's beer much. in there or something. <laughs> I, I, need could some, go, I could go for a beer right now. I need something that'll keep me going. shot off. Check back with you. Deer down. Deer down. We came around that tree right there where the shade was and I just happened to stick my head around and I could see his Face. And I'm like, oh god, we're too close. <laughs> we're too close. Abort, abort. Remember? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Holy shit. This might be a tripper. Oh yeah. Get in there. He's got five on one side. Congratulations. Pick that toad up. Golly. Are you kidding me? Day one? Day one. You were about ready to go home at lunch, weren't you? <laughs> That's a lot of hiking. But that is a moose up a deer. Babe, you killed? A monster public land, New Mexico muley. Go get on the other side of him. Take his head up. <laughs> That's great. Turn it to the side. Yeah. The other way. Oh. There you go. That's awesome. How you feeling, Mondo? Pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> Can't wait to take you to the truck. <laughs> <laughs> I think that pack there, uh, a good 78 pounds. You want to try it out? No? Sure. Just because we've, uh, how much further do you think we got? Three quarters of a mile. Quarters of a mile. We've probably been at it for a couple hours now. Ah, I'm a little sore. Weighted down back here. Knock this last little bit out. Yep. All right. Here we go. Here it is. You see the forerunner? No, but I see the highway that we parked off of. We still got a ways to go.
So, we're back. Hello, Armando. Hello. Uh, we broke our backs. Uh, rolled our ankles. Yeah, rolled our ankles. We are uh, hurting pretty bad right now. But both packs are here, back. We're on the side of the road. Just need to load this thing up and go drink a beer. Or two. Or two. Or a few beers. <laughs> or a few beers, yeah. So all in all, that was awesome. Adriana, how do you feel? Really good. You lucked out. You lucked out. Thanks to Armando. Where are you at? Yes. I gotta, I gotta flip you. this around. Yeah. Couldn't have asked for a better friend to come out here and help us do this. This, uh, this was your first hunt, right? Yeah. <laughs> Hiking. <laughs> Hiking. No, this was no Texas hunt, huh? I'm gonna need a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> so we put in about, uh, seven miles, I think, as a crow flies is what we, uh, just figured it out to be. And, uh, she got her a nice five by four mule deer buck on her first day out here. I mean, who does that? Seriously. You got lucky. I did. And you had really good help. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to finish up here and we'll hop back at y'all later. Go. Hey guys, welcome to Tag Outdoors. I'm Adriana. I'm Taylor. This is probably our first film hunt together. Yeah. And it was great. So, uh, first of all, let me apologize. Uh, we didn't even introduce Armando in the video. Uh, good friend of ours. They're actually coming down here next month uh, to chase some all dead with us in West Texas. So, we're really looking forward to that. Oh, I wanted to talk about the flatlands. You want to talk about the flatlands? It was not flat. <laughs> so, Armando was like, hey, you guys want to, the first day we'll go hit the desert. And I'm like, the desert? Yeah, sure. Yeah, he's like, yeah, it's the flatlands. You know, I know some places out there, some public land, it's hard to get to, but we got to hump it in a good ways. But I'm almost positive that there's going to be deer out there. There is no flatland. I still <laughs> have blisters. Yeah, it's so that bad. was like a week and a half ago, yeah. almost two weeks, and uh, it tore her up pretty good. Um, and this was her first trip out there, and I tried to warn her. She didn't think it was going to be as bad as it was, and it turned out... It'd be fun. <laughs> it's totally worth it, though. Oh, yeah, but I, I meant like the, it's a lot of work, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, a lot of people don't understand that public hunt, and like we did run into hunters, you know. Um, we had seen that buck uh, a good ways out, like 1,300 yards is the only thing that we could range to even get close to that. So once we started making our way, we put the scope back down, put the phone scope on the the razor and we that's when we noticed them off to the side right and they, they were putting on their stock coming in on that that buck and those does so we just decided to back out uh those guys didn't know we were there so there was no sense in us bumping each other and also we got a better look at that that buck once we got closer and he was he was kind of young probably two and a half I, I'm, I'm almost positive those guys, as they got closer, they made the same decision because we ran into them later. Well, we didn't run into yeah. them, but we saw them later when we were packing out. Yeah, also the deer down. Um, I thought I was recording with the camera, and she's like, I'm going to take the shot. I didn't let him record. <laughs> well, I didn't give him enough time. Yeah, that and, uh, I mean, I thought I had hit the record button as I put it down and get my vinyls back up, and she only had about a coffee can size uh, area to, to put that bullet through there, and which I was completely confident. She's a better marksman than most of my hunting buddies. So <clears throat> she's, put, she's put some shots on some animals that were twice, if not three times that distance. That was an 82-yard shot. Um, we stalked him for a good ways out, but he was in like a comfort zone right there, right? He, he wasn't getting up at all. Uh, we stalked in on him, you know, 1,000 yards, 600, 300, 200, and Armando was like, hey, let's sit up and we'll, we'll bump him out of there and then we'll get a shot. And I'm a bow hunter. I wanted to keep getting closer. I wanted to see how close we could get, you know? And when we came around that tree and we looked and his face was like right there, I was like, oh my God, we're too close. We're gonna have to back up. Wind's gonna 
shift, he's going to wind us and he's going to bust out of here and we might not get a shot, but uh, it didn't work, it worked that out. Way. Yeah, it worked out. She put on a great shot. And what, what was, I remember looking down after you shot and I could see a little, little twitch in the hand. Were, were you nervous? Yeah, because I thought it was a tree trunk from where I was at. Yeah. You had a better view for sure. Yeah. But. But you saw it? him, like you saw him when he, he finally yeah. stood up. Yeah, and for sure. I he stood up and took a step down further in the cut, which allowed his body, neck, and head to be seen by her through the scope. And uh, she's like, I got full uh, scope now view. Now or never. Yeah, full scope view of, of his neck. I'm taking the shot. And I was 100% confident that, you know, she'd make a deadly shot on that, that neck. I don't suggest everybody do that, but, I mean, she's been shooting consistently for five or six years now. And I wasn't worried about it. That's what all I'm gonna say. Anyways, uh, what else I have here written down? I really didn't think it was gonna be that hard, but I was totally wrong. <laughs> Should have done the master at the gym. <laughs> I never did. Yeah, so she uh, she got the full experience, which I'm grateful for because um, it was public land hunting at its best. I mean, we got lucky. Uh, it really helped that Armando had a good feeling about this area. He He's going on an all dad hunt um, out there. He drew a tag in New Mexico. So he had been watching all dad out in that area and he had seen some bucks. So he knew there were some there. He just didn't know if they'd be there that day that we went in there. And the, the pack out took several hours. Coming back up with two packs fully loaded, we were stopping, what, 15 times just on that one incline? It was. Walk like 10 steps, stop. Yeah, yeah, it was bad. Plus we had uh, the entire animal. Uh, deboned and packed in both my pack and Armando's so because we knew that we were so deep in we didn't want to have to make a trip back and we had plenty of daylight left that we'll just take our time we'll get out of here we'll probably be able to get back to the truck before dark and uh, that's what we did and it all worked out but man we were we were feeling it when we get back to the truck but all in all it, it was good um, so did, did you get your monster you were after yeah I don't hunt as often, so anything really is a monster. Yeah, to me. yeah, for sure. And it, but it was a monster. Like in our eyes, we we don't we're not trophy hunters. So even when I walked up, I was like, oh my god, it's got five on one side, you know? Because I, I was shocked. I, we weren't really going after a, a big mule deer. She happened to get lucky that unit thirty four doesn't hold monsters that people are, you know, they can do TV shows on and stuff. But this was a great animal. Um, and he tasted delicious. It's been great. I, I love it. I, I absolutely enjoy uh, getting to teach her and show her and seeing her evolve in, uh, in hunting. And me getting to film everything, it's great. So, oh, born and raised outdoors. If you guys haven't been following along with them, they did like a, a 50 day hunt. And those guys are legit. They're hunting elk and they're chasing them across five different states. They did a little collaboration with a couple of different groups of guys. Man, if you guys are anything interested in hunting, check that out because you can learn a lot. You can see how motivated these guys are. You always have to have a positive mindset going out there because uh, you're gonna have to keep pushing. You're gonna hit the highs and lows, but through the lows, you gotta keep going. Uh, I mean, that's how, that's how you're successful. And th those guys really do, uh, they show that. And you can see, um, I mean, there's like a camaraderie there with those guys. But she was getting a little agitated at first when, when the series first started coming out because, I mean, I was following along every day, still am following along every day. And Bugling with them along <laughs> the videos. Yeah, I mean, they make you feel like you're there with them, you know? And uh, yeah, and so I got this idea from them to do this little post-hunt uh, interview. They do a little uncut series and uh, I thought that was pretty cool because you can talk about some things that you didn't get to see or do or talk about while you were on the hunt. So anyway, that, that's that's really good. So we'll get out of here. We're gonna get ready, start preparing for this meat hunt this weekend, and I uh, hope you guys uh, stay tuned. Hope you enjoy everything. Bye.